Sport is on lockdown for the foreseeable future. COVID-19 is likely to leave the world a very different place, and the same could well be true of Brazilian football. The pandemic has prompted a significant debate in the region. Namely, should Brazilian domestic football and the Brazilian Football Confederation use this opportunity to bring the country's football calendar in line with Europe? Now, the most critical and fundamental problem with club football remains the sheer number of matches that teams are forced to play during a season, often in uncomfortable heat and on questionable playing surfaces. The Brazilian football season starts in late January or early February with the outdated state championships, while the National League campaign subsequently kicks off in late April or early May, running through until early December. For decades now, one of the most frequent complaints of Brazilian clubs, as well as supporters, has been the over-tightly packed football schedule, with little or no room for alteration or postponement. A more than common lament in managers' press conferences is also the lack of time to prepare proper training sessions or the chance for experimentation once the season is up and running. At the business end of a campaign, particularly if a team finds itself in the latter rounds of a continental knockout tournament, the relentless Wednesday night, Sunday afternoon schedule for weeks on end leaves little alternative other than to offer the players as much rest as possible. The short-term necessity for immediate results hinders any sort of long-term planning. The Copa do Brasil, as well as CONMEBOL competitions, now run for the entire year following a restructuring in the latter part of the last decade. With these tournaments running over the course of the season rather than just six months, it is increasingly imperative that clubs are able to hang on to their best players for the duration if they're to have any chance of silverware. At present, Brazil's crowded campaign is packed into the calendar year between February and December. Now, there is an increasing momentum behind the movement which was initially spearheaded by a group of 75 professional players known as Bonsenso FC, Common Sense FC, between 2013 and 2016 to move the season to an August to May format. That would allow for a pre-season starting somewhere during July, with domestic matches kicking off in mid-August, ending in May, with all players on break during June, thereby offering clubs more time to prepare for an upcoming campaign. As it currently stands, there are barely 20 days between the end of one season and the playing staff returning for pre-season training at the height of the summer. Now, one of the key advantages to switching to a European format relates to the timing of international football's showpiece event, the FIFA World Cup. With the way the Brazilian season is currently set up, the league is forced into a hiatus between five and six weeks while FIFA's premier competition is underway, meaning matches are then crammed either side of the international competition to compensate. A calendar switch would also be a huge aid to top-tier clubs in their international marketing efforts. With Brazilian clubs on break at the same time as Europe's major leagues, it would provide an excellent opportunity for Serie A sides to travel abroad in pre-seasons, take on some of the strongest clubs and present themselves to a brand new audience. The popularity of the FIFA Club World Cup in Brazil means this would be certain to attract local audiences. But perhaps most critically, changes to the Brazilian football season would help to drastically minimize the effects of the European transfer window. The adoption of an August-June campaign would see the vast majority of moves from Brazil to Europe take place during Europe's summer transfer window, from June until the 31st of August. Europe remains a prolific buyer of Brazilian talent, despite increasing competition from Asia and the Middle East. Ensuring that the bulk of transfers take place when Brazilian football is also on break would be hugely beneficial to clubs, managers and players thereby allowing them to plan for the entirety of a season rather than risk seeing their squad shorn of its best players at the midway point. There are of course some caveats as well. The switch to a European timeline would mean playing prime competitions, like the Campeonato Brasileiro and the Copa do Brasil, during the summer months. The heat in Brazil can at times top 45 degrees Celsius and there would inevitably be some issues regarding player safety were games to kick off for example at 4pm. There are also concerns about dwindling stadium attendances. The Brazilian summer runs from December to February, when children are off school and families are travelling, which could lead to a drop in interest in domestic football for a sizeable chunk of the season. But it cannot be denied that large-scale changes are a necessity to correct the maddening and physically demanding nature of the existing football calendar. 
It may take some getting used to, and it would necessitate downsizing the largely futile state matches, but placing fewer physical demands on players would only be beneficial over the long term. Changing Brazilian football to a European time frame has become a must over recent seasons. Brazil is clamoring for change, and it would be one of the most important steps that the CBF could possibly take in improving dramatically the quality of their own domestic product.